In just a few weeks, it'll officially be spring on this side of the globe. So here we are. I got three fits for you guys. Well, more than three fits, but these fits are definitely going to keep you looking fly for the spring. Let's check them out. So we're going to start off with this first fit, which is a banger, and it's everything spring. Lighter pastel colors, lighter layering, some headwear. So starting with the top layer, we have this simplistic minimal overshirt from the H&M Premium Selection. And this is a piece I've worn a lot. Because of the minimalistic design, the lack of color, this is a piece that's timeless. It's never going to go out of style. And so underneath this piece, we have the Uniqlo Plus J Mandarin Collar Button Up. And you'll see that I do this a lot because it's just a different looking piece than your standard white shirt. And I find this piece very light and breathable. I really like the way it looks as well with the buttons and the mandarin collar great underlayer piece moving down to the pants are these cargos from fried rice I love the tie-dye the hints of yellow and gray It's actually a versatile piece even though it is the statement piece of an outfit It looks loud and bold, but i've actually worn it in so many other outfits now Here's my thought process since the pants are so relaxed fitting naturally you would gravitate towards the advice of wide pants chunky sneakers. That's not actually why I wore Air Force Ones with these pants. I wore these specific Air Force Ones because of that pop of orange. That pop of orange right next to the hints of yellow follows the color blocking technique of analogous colors or colors right next to each other on the color wheel. But yeah, let's talk about the Air Force Ones. These are the premium model, which they use tumbled supple plushy leather compared to the standard Air Force Ones. And it does have a slight cream hue to it. So it's not pure white, which is actually my preference. And then the mantra orange, just looks dope. And I just love the way these pants lay on any sneaker, whether it's slim or chunky like these Air Force Ones. It's a very clean break on the sneakers. Now, since we're following analogous colors, I threw on this green cap from M.A. Leon Dore. And so we got green, we got yellow, we got orange. All of those colors are right next to each other on the color wheel following analogous colors. Just think all of the, the citruses, lime, lemon, orange. And that's why I think this fit is one of my favorite fits I've put together. You know, I had one of those moments looking into the mirror. I was like, oh snap, I put together this fit. I'm proud of myself. Got good use of color, good layering, good proportions. One of my favorite fits. Now up next is my uniform for the spring. Please steal it from me because it's actually quite easy and versatile. The base starts with these flared pants, some Oliver Cabell white leather sneakers, and a white tank top, which you can get these from anywhere. I'll leave some options down below for y'all if I can find some. And so that's the base uniform, okay? Now for the top, you want any minimalistic overshirt or jacket. Nothing too crazy or loud, just an easy to swallow piece. So the one I'm starting off with is a corduroy overshirt from Acne Studios. And this was gifted to me by Mr. Port by the way i love the simplistic design not offensive a bit more unique with the corduroy texture then i threw on a gray beanie and some jewelry you know rings necklaces and shades which are from the sponsor of today's video clocks and colors so clocks and colors is a canadian brand that focuses on handcrafted products when you check out their sites you'll find some beautiful pieces that is full-on maximalist i love that just as much as i love simplicity so each jewelry product is handcrafted from sterling silver and you can easily tell by its sound and premium feel and what i love about this brand is they focus on the stories behind each collection and you can read about each one on their site like this necklace right here which was in collaboration with peter mckinnon i'm sure a lot of y'all know him so the story behind this is this was inspired by peter's first time seeing the northern lights so they use this stone in placements of the sky and it looks really nice and this fit that i'm wearing also includes their shades which they knocked it out of the park with these eyewear is literally jewelry on the face i mean just look at the details of the frame it's chef's kiss and these frames right here have a hexagonal lens and it's it's just much more attractive than some club masters you know if you guys are interested definitely click the link in the description to check out clocks and colors and that's colors with the u by the way for my friends in the states link in the description thank you clocks and colors for sponsoring this video also real quick guys clocks and colors is doing a 500 gift card giveaway and here are the rules to enter all you have to do is comment down below with hashtag clocks and colors it also helps with the algorithm, by the way. And then you just have to subscribe to their mailing list in the link in the description. If you guys do subscribe to their mailing list, they will send a $50 gift card via email. And the winner of this giveaway will be contacted via email from Clocks and Colors within a week. So just make sure you guys follow those rules. Y'all are the best. But as you guys can see, I like blending formal elements to a casual fit. That juxtaposition is clean and timeless because those formal elements can stay in your wardrobe forever. Which is why this next one, we're still in the same uniform by the way. I'm taking off the beanie and switching out the top for this chore jacket from Todd Snyder in collaboration with Champion and Harley Davidson which is exactly what I'm wearing right now. Still minimalistic with a bit of flair from the Harley branding. And let's just say this piece isn't for you. Well then we're gonna swap it out for my most worn piece of the past few years, 
the Uniqlo U jersey shirt jacket. I've worn this hundreds of times. It's so simple and navy is a color that has been growing on me more and more. For this fits, I threw back on the beanie, no glasses, but cuffed the sleeves to reveal my watch from Seiko and a bracelet. And then we got another simple overshirt in black, or you can try a leather jacket. You can go tucked or untucked with your shirt. Personally, I've never liked tucked shirts, but you do you. Seriously, man, steal this outfit for the spring. I'll be in this fit more often than not. And last but not least is a fit that looks a little similar. Hopefully we got some Raimi memes fans in here. So the last fit I wore with an overcoat, but since it's starting to get warmer, I've swapped out the overcoat for a blazer. And this blazer comes from the Uniqlo U collection that just dropped. By the way, I have a whole video coming out to review the collection. If you're in the future, it should already be out. So this blazer is also very simplistic and formal, which is layered on top of the same plus J button up just in blue, and then the same white tank top underneath. I buttoned everything except the bottom button, so you can just get a little peek of the white for layering and separation and all of this the whole top is juxtaposed with these tech cargos a fusion between formal wear and tech wear so you don't always have to stay in one lane with a certain piece like a denim jacket doesn't always have to go with some cargo pants or a blazer doesn't always have to go with some trousers you know the more experimentation that you do the better because i really think it works in this fit and footwear wise i'm just wearing some stan smiths with the cream midsole you know i just had to show adidas some love i really do like the stan smiths i just wear the oliver cabells a little bit too much and yeah this fit is super chill nothing too crazy but also not too simple either and i hope you all enjoyed this video we're gonna get an hour of sunlight back thank goodness give the video a thumbs up subscribe follow my socials and until then stay fly deuces